Hi, my name is Lauren Welburn, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the impact social media has on our lives. How many times do you think you click on Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat in a day? According to Statista Research Department, we Americans use about 145 minutes a day on social media. It has become a habit, a thing we do the second we feel bored, or we're procrastinating that homework assignment that is due at 11.59. On average, I spend about six hours and 32 minutes a day on social media. As a user of all social media platforms, you and I may not think it has a bad effect on our lives, but just take a moment to think about the amount of time we spend on our phones a day. As a business owner of an online shop, it requires more contact with my phone than ever before. Keeping up with trends that are evolving every day, marketing your product, and making that brand loyalty and customer loyalty so important. And this is all done by the convenience of a cell phone. Businesses are growing faster than ever, all because of social media. Have you ever posted a picture and looked at it so many times that you end up hating the picture? Many Americans today are more worried about the image they show rather than the showing the actual life they live. People only show the good and never show the bad, making others feel the need to do the same. According to unscreen.org, there are so many ways that we can help reduce the amount of time spent on our phones. We could do things such as set a timer for ourselves. Let's say instead of spending six hours on our phone, we set ourselves to only spend four hours on our phone a day. Putting your phone away before bed is very important. About 30 minutes before bed, instead of grabbing your phone, maybe grab that book that has been sitting in the nightstand, getting some dust on it. Another great tip for helping to reduce the amount of time spent on our phones is turning our like cell phone notifications off. This is my favorite because I can catch myself if I post a picture, I might click on my phone a hundred times just to see who liked or commented on my picture. As social media does have its perks, it also has many downfalls to it as well. Remember when I told you how many times we click on social media apps a day? Did you take a second to think about how much it impacted our daily lives? You post a picture and after you have looked at the same picture for an hour, trying to decide whether you like it or if someone else might like that picture, right there is the reason and the what our world has come to. We as a whole have this perspective and this life that we want to live through our phones. Yes, it might make us feel better that we got 350 likes or 500 likes. As social media does have its perks, it also has many downfalls to it as well. Remember when I told you how many times we click on a social media app a day? Take a second to think about how much it has impacted our daily lives. You post a picture after you have looked at it and you think to yourself, who's going to like this picture? Is somebody else going to like it? Are they going to comment on my picture? That right there is what our world has come to. We as a whole have this perspective on life that we want to live rather than live in the life we actually live. Yes, it might make us feel better that we got 350 likes on our picture, but is that really going to matter next week? Take a moment to think how you can change by not letting social media control you. These are my audience for my informative speech.